Churchill 1. This is a British heavy tank. And this is a Tier 5 heavy tank. And the map is Sand River. The game mode is Homefront. This is from August of 2019. I am going to get 16 kills in this game. I'm going to do 7,140 damage. And I'm going to do 3,000 assistance damage. This is not the most number of kills that I've ever done in the uh, home front game mode. The most I did is around 22 kills. And the most damage I did was around 22,000 damage. It will come in a future video, so keep your eye on it if you want to see that video. There are going to be seven waves of attacks. And I don't know in what order uh, this game was, because when obviously when I first started out, I wasn't doing as much damage. And I learned over time that there's a strategy for getting more damage. Uh, one of the ways to do it is to go for those APCR rounds. Uh, if you look on the uh, mini-map, you'll see that there's uh, little icons that show three rounds next to each other. That's where the APCR is. In fact, there's one right next to me. There's one right over here on the right. So what I would have done in a later game is I would have gone straight for that ammo. And the other thing that I did was I tried spotting in this game. Spotting did not work out. I did have games where I did a lot of spotting damage, but those were really difficult games, and I found that the best thing to do was to just try to do as much damage as I could. So you can see that the in-game stat says I've only done 182 damage and 434 spotting, but obviously that's going to change. It looks like one of the enemy vehicles might make it across that border. This game was actually very hard. It was very difficult to win. Um, all of the other uh, online streamers agreed that it was very difficult to win. Even the best players. You know, the best players all agreed that it was very difficult uh, to win the game. In general, you don't want to go low, but in this case, I do have to go for that ammo. If your team, it, one person can do the job of going after the ammo, but it does help if everyone on your team is going after that ammo, which almost never happened. Usually I was the only one doing it. Uh, this is a slow vehicle. Unfortunately, you can't always choose what vehicle you play in. Uh, the way the game is designed is it gives you a selection of three, two or three different vehicles, or three or four different vehicles to play in. And I really don't like these types of slow vehicles. Although I have seen people have amazing games. Uh, there's a game where I was on Studzianki, and the guy played with a Churchill. He got in a side scrape position, and he basically sat there the whole game, and he totally dominated, and he did a lot of damage that game, even though I don't remember how much it was. The most difficult enemy tanks are the Leopards. Uh, they come through very quickly. And also the Tigers are very difficult. Uh, the Tigers are difficult because of their strong armor. And I believe the Panthers were tough tanks also. Uh, so the tactic for going after these Tigers is always to get behind them. I really did enjoy playing this game mode, and I wish they had brought it back. Obviously, they are bringing it back, but they are not bringing it back as a defend game. It's going to be an assault game. So I have yet to see what it's going to be like when I'm on the assaulting team. So in this case, we've got these bombing circles. you, you got to get out of the bombing circle. I did get caught a few times, and you have to go further than getting out of the circle because of the burst radius of the incoming fire. If you're right next to the red line, for example, that shot that hit right there could damage you even if you're outside the red circle. It says that my uh, engine was damaged by an incoming round. And I was clearly outside of the red circle. One of the things that's good about this game is you really don't have to worry too much about how much damage you take 
because you can respawn. I am up to 1100 damage. Vehicle doesn't do a lot of damage per shot. I'm only doing around 50 damage per shot. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. I would definitely try to ram that tank. You notice that even though the indicator uh, says that it's red, I was still able to damage him. You can't completely trust the indicator. I'm up to 1786 damage. Doesn't show how many kills I have. One of the players on my team is named Commodore64. Uh, so for those of you who aren't familiar, that was a computer. At the time, it was the most popular computer in the world. It might still be. Uh, they produced millions of devices. And uh, during the 80s, it was the most popular computer in the world. It probably still is. So we're actually doing pretty good. Uh, this particular game doesn't have as many waves, uh, which means it's going to be an easier game and we're going to do less damage. Uh, I'm constantly reminding my team to get the flags for the additional ammo. And it really does matter. There was a game where I was begging my team to get the flags and I actually ran out of ammo. And I had to run a long distance to go get the ammo. And my team could have picked up some ammo. They go right by the flag. They don't even try to pick it up. The Panthers can be difficult tanks. You can see that I bounced off of that Panther. One of the other pieces of advice with this game mode, definitely use the APCR rounds. It doesn't cost you anything. So use them liberally, especially if you pick up uh, the ammo. A lot of bounces. There is another strategy. You, you do have consumables to do like a bombing run. So what you want to do is you want to track those tanks so that your allies can do the bombing run or you can do the bombing run on the enemy. So as you can see, I, I don't know if I had full health, but these tanks took me out of the game. The Panthers were very dangerous tanks. They are tier 7 tanks, and I'm a tier 5 tank. I'm up to 2200 damage. So I've come in with another uh, Churchill 1. You really have to judge your vehicle very carefully. Because you could come in with a heavy tank or a light vehicle. Someone just dropped a bombing run on that vehicle I was firing at. And you definitely want to knock vehicles out of the game. You can see that someone is, someone has crossed onto our side of the map. Can't penetrate that guy. And I'm low on ammo. This might be the game where I ran out of ammo. And I really needed my team to go get some ammo. You do have to keep on picking up that ammo. If your team respawns, they're going to be low on ammo. So I've come in with a Sherman 3. Uh, we did fend off those vehicles. I'm up to 2,600 damage and 1,200 spotting. The other strategy that I use is I try to get as close to the enemy at the start of the game uh, so that I'm slowly reversing. How did my engine get damaged? Got a lot of enemy vehicles coming in. And most of my team, we've only got either one respawn left or maybe we're on our final respawn. We got to be extra careful. Any time that you got nothing to do, you see I'm going for that flag to get that extra ammo. And I do not have any gold rounds right now.
It is possible that this vehicle does not have gold rounds. It looks like it has a derp gun on it. The other issue with the game is you have to keep an eye on the north and the south because sometimes there will be no one on your team defending one of the flanks. Uh, you see we got the M5 Stuart, but how's he going to defend against three tanks? He won't be able to do that. You got to drop those consumables as often as you can. So I took the Panzer 3E out of the game with one shot. It looks like my uh, our, my air attack missed because the enemy moved. And now you can see that we're really struggling in the north. We got to get to the north as quickly as possible. And the strategy is obviously to go for the vehicles that are closest to the green dash line, which is on the right side of the map. You see that my uh, engine was damaged, uh, possibly from a bombing run. I'm up to 2,800 damage. Oh, I hope the game didn't crash. Looks like my game froze. Yeah, so I'm guessing my game froze. That's too bad. I got 16 kills in this game. It won't freeze again. You're going to see my awesome miss. Up to 2,800 damage. I really learned to respect derp guns by playing this game. I was really happy with the performance. You do want to go after vulnerable tanks when you do the uh, the airdrop or artillery or other consumables that you have. And I'm not the type of person that I care about winning. I really just enjoy playing the game. Uh, having a, I'd rather play a challenging game. That's what I'm more concerned with. Looks like we might not be able to get that stook. You really want to try. There was often that I thought we weren't going to be able to make it. And you notice that the stook is not, you know, he's kind of driving around in circles. So we were able to, to defend, even though if that were a player, the player would have won. So the robots don't always rush across. Wow, look at all those enemy tanks. The, the Lux are going to be difficult. And some of my allies are gone, you know, down to only, there's only three of us left. There is a really nice position you want to play. It's up here on that hill where the M5 Stewart is. So you're going to see in the later games, I was playing up here on the hill. That was the absolute best position. And not that was 507 damage on the Panzer 3K. And not only was I playing up there in the later games, but now I play up there in random battles also. It was a great position. It's hull down, and you can shoot far away. Doesn't work with every tank, but it works with a lot of tanks. I'm up to 3,900 damage. And again, I'm going to get 16 kills in this game. Wow, that's an example. I was never the type of person who liked playing derp guns, but now I am. Now I'm looking forward to playing the KV-2 and other derp guns, although it's going to be a long time before I get a chance to do so. You can see that there's a Lux in the south. Hopefully the Sherman will take him out. We really need him to do something. Oh, look at that. There's three Lux in the South. So we could lose in the uh, South. We could definitely lose this game because of what's going on in the South. I guess one of them crashed. It said lost in battle. And another one, it said lost in battle. I wonder how they were lost. And now, does it say two more?
and we're doing you know we're not doing so good and we've got two more waves we got to deal with and we can't repair see oh my engine was damaged because i'm using the speed boost module so it wasn't because i was being hit i guess i had forgotten to turn it off it's the speed boost is uh called a what is it called speed limiter or something like that i'm up to 5400 damage again i'm going to get 7100 damage in this game 3000 assistance damage 16 kills so here's an example where i'm just going for that flag It's Tiger ones. Good that there's not a lot of them, and we can get behind them. But they're dangerous tanks. You don't want to get hit by them. One of the issues with this game is you can't use your own tanks and you can't use your own crew, so you don't have six cents or whatever crew skills you want to have. Although it might already be included. Yeah, there it is. I'm spotted. They're very powerful. I'm only a lower tier vehicle. I'm a tier 5 vehicle, and these guys are tier 7 vehicles. I really should get that ammo to get the APCR rounds. Again, this vehicle might not have APCR rounds. One of the issues I remember is that I wanted to hit these guys, but the gun just doesn't do enough damage. And I was sitting there thinking, you know, I could kill them, but they're moving so slow. I don't do enough damage. Don't reload fast enough. You're just slowly watching the enemy roll over your base. That was a nice hit, though, 399. But he also took me out of the game. Yeah, does he look like he's a winner? Looks like he's not playing. Yeah, that's it. Okay, that's the game. So again, I got 7,140 damage, 16 kills, and 3,000 assistance damage. And this is going to be a defeat.